Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be back with you after all this time. I've got a bit of time to myself this evening, so I thought I'd play a little bit of Call of Cthulhu. I've been delving deeper into the worlds of H.P. Lovecraft lately, and I thought, what better way to share the madness than to enter the madness with you? Let's begin, shall we? I did start this game once before, and it didn't get too far, so I thought we might just start from the beginning. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigation Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly, or risk losing his license. Hmm. Interesting. Into the madness. Yes. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. So the less I know about something, the more time I'll spend there. Because not only am I trying to find details, but honestly, with a game like this, I'll probably be psyching myself up quite a bit. Anyone who came along with me... Crouch. Ah. Okay, it's a toggle, so I don't have to hold anything. That's good to know. Anyone who came along on the ride for the Silent Hill walkthrough that I did? That's a game that I've played a number of times, but this is going to be new for me, so I can't guarantee that uh, I'm going to be able to get through it quite as seamlessly. Although, I do believe I had forgotten a couple things when I played through last time, so... Not the same door, but just trying to drink. I guess this will be a bit more of a genuine reaction then as I play through this. Maybe more entertaining for all of you. You must light up items in order to interact with them. I was just thinking that I could use a light. have a lamp. Do I? Nope, nope, that's crouching. Okay, I'm leaning. Alright, let's go see if I can get this lamp. Ah, when an object can be picked up, press X. Excellent, very good. Hurricane lamp. Just playing Amnesia not long ago. Oh. 
Oh. Bolt cutter. What if I did No, well, let's over here first before I go back. So as I was saying, I was just recently playing Amnesia and uh you run out of fuel in your lantern pretty quickly in that game. So I'm pretty happy right now that that is not something I need to worry about. At least not at this point. What was that? Oh god, what? What's happening? Vibrating. <laughs> um. I guess I have to go back. Run. Oh, there we go. That's one good thing about games these days. They all have very similar functions. I guess I'd like to cut this. What's that sound? In my wake, hold a log. Fate inescapably draws you on. Oh. Does it now? This is the other one. I may as well open it. Can I not from this side? Alright. And I'm here, so... I imagine it's not necessary. From me. Ugh. Disgusting. Ugh. I wonder what happened to the poor thing. Don't fight. You have been chosen. So it seems that... Ah! Pierce Investigation Agency, 20th October, 1924. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. But they're different. Unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. A nameless creature is calling me. Hmm. What nameless creature is calling you, Mr. Pierce? <sighs> Spells, or s skills, rather. Not, not spells? No? Um, strength professional. Strength represents your ability to call your physical power. Okay. So we have basic abilities and proficiencies. Eloquence. Spot hidden. That could come in handy. Investigation. I am an investigator. 
so that would be good. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult. Okay. Medicine, medical knowledge, also helpful. Psychology, knowledge of human behavior, chances of understanding the motivations of a person. Okay. Oh. Oops, not what I wanted yet. Sanity. Mental trauma. Oh, good. What would this be if it did not have some sort of mental trauma? Nightmares. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Muse Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion. American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire. Forces to hold... Uh, forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades. Without food or medical supplies, the soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquors to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Stable. Confident in your abilities and your cartesian mind, you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts. Your convictions and your perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Thank goodness. Alright. Alright. Not too bad. Okay. Only improved by... Okay. Alright. I'll figure this all out. Dark water. You don't have any information yet. Alright. Um, places, Pierce Investigations Agency, my private detective agency, contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston, where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small-time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less than comfortable, is less comfortable than a real bed. And I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. No information on the occult just yet. All right. Clues, chapter one, none. Inventory, a lighter, lost battalion, 10, 7, 18. My old lighter, I engraved the memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men the lost battalion who fell. There's the, invis uh, the inscription, but the date. Nothing on the other side. Standard Zippo style lighter. It needs fuel to work, but you know. I'm sure. As with other things, it's not necessarily gonna run out. Alright. Looks like there's a few things that we can check out in the old office. I wonder why I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to my nightmares. But for a while now, the effect has been wearing off. Nothing in particular to see about it. Standard sleeping pills. I can't see quite what's cool stuff there. I've got them in case I want some more. Something tells me I don't need them right now. A lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. I used to be an avid reader. Used to be. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Yeah, I'll do what we can. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Husband never understood when his wife had left. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed.
The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're ready outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. It looks like uh, my strength investigation are highest. And my eloquence <laughs> and psychology are the lowest. Mm. Apart from my occultism and medicine. I have a feeling those I can up as I go, but I need to be able to talk to people, and I also need to understand what they're telling me. So, two points needed before the next level. Oh, four points needed. Four points. How many do I have to work with? Eight points available. Four. I could do those two. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Physical power. Power of speech. I'm gonna go with psychology and eloquence. Oof. Oh, it was only one. Interesting. Okay. So that's got me up to the same level as that. So why don't I do two in there? Ah, oh, they're actually a bit better there. Why don't I put a little more in there? And power of speech, ability to influence those you talk to. The skill you have a chance of understanding the motivations of a person. I feel like eloquence is a bit more important. Let's do that. All right, let's go with it. See what happens. Validate. Oh. Do you want to validate candidate points? Yes, Thank I do. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. 
But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes, everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Right, all right. Despite the treatment, what's calling my name? A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death. He was sent to her father just after the artist died. He's convinced that she is the sender. He brought to me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. All right. Let's look at these files first. Well, all right, according to my list, I should look at the painting first. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. In the painting, the diary. I did. Um. Art of Sarah Hawkins, intuitive and visionary artist for some, overpriced imposter for others. Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes. 
to the world. If her paintings are a testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Extract from the notebook of Edward Pierce, private detective. Yes, that's me. Well. Interesting. Clues. This painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it is linked to the death of his daughter. Flames may be related to the fact that she supposedly died in a fire, but she doesn't seem afraid of the fire and maybe even drawn to this creature. Something on her almost appears to be lit, but that could just be the way that the light is treating her body and someone is cowering behind her. The SH in the bottom right corner would denote that it is fur from her. Nothing on the back, everything else seems ordinary. I'd better read this file. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Shipping label. Some of it is unreadable. Then I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. These must be the sketches of the individuals. I suppose dark water would be the place to go then. If we want to find out more. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Shouldn't take this painting lightly. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. Something's not right with the story. Find out about Warehouse 36. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Well, I suppose we should start with the painting. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Very well. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. 
Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been... That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find... Yes, indeed. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I used to be an avid reader. Medicine, Volume 1. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners, the first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. Very good. I'm sure that will come to my abilities. Excellent. Destiny, eh? It's all right with me. Here we are. Natural sciences, linguistics, mm. archaeology. Thought I would have had something interesting there. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the ro romanticism of these moving evidences of such na naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coasts of Massachusetts. That was Atlantic Islands. Interesting. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Well, I suppose it's time. Shall we leave then? <laughs> Let me make you hold this one down. All right, let's go.
there. 